What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We are at the firm Florida International Rally and Motorsports Park. We have the Camaro SS1 LE and uh, we have a private track rental and there's only 12 of us and the setting is open track so we can come in and out as we please and we have all day. The temperature right now is like I want to say low 50s. It's a little wind so it is cold but we got a bunch of cars here 12 cars so we got a mustang gt my ss1 le there's another ss1 le there's a c6 corvette ttrs m5 comp gt500 supra uh, sti and then uh Porsche 911 gt3 i believe it is so just it's gonna go out there learn the car have some fun with it check out the times and uh just give you as much content as i can from this it's about to be fun and uh, I'm gonna start the car in dry to get the in dry mode, track mode, dry to get the tires warmed up. And then from that, I'm gonna go on to sport one and uh, let's see how it goes. See if we progress to sport two or something even a little bit better. Have fun. Let's go.
right, so it's uh, lunch time. We get uh, an hour lunch from 12 to 1, and then we go for another three or four hours, which is awesome. I've been having tons of fun. That's why I'm maybe not, I'm recording now, and then maybe towards the end, I wanna show you. I got the camera on my car. I got the camera on Chris's on the Supra. I'm gonna see if I can charge it and put it on one of any of the other cars. But so far, it's been fun. I'm probably, I think I'm the slowest. I'll put the list up as it is right now during lunch take a screenshot and I'll put it up right now but I'm pretty sure I'm one of the slowest or the slowest but the important thing for me is I started at 138 I think and I'm down to 130 and uh, yes I'm learning and I can get better uh, towards the end there I had a passenger with me so I kind of took a little bit slow there with some things that I wanted to test out but when I go back out I'm actually gonna ride with George and see how, how he's taking the lines and all that stuff in the braking to see if I can transfer that into when I drive a little bit and test it out so as long as I'm getting a little bit better every time I go out, it's all good. And I mean, it doesn't matter really. I'm actually having a lot of fun. Holy shit, man. What? My arm? <laughs> this is so tall. Yeah. Hold them How was lunch? Good. Awesome. Good, good. Did you get lunch? Uh-huh. Awesome. <laughs> Not bad. Thank you. There's no ocean handle, huh? Huh? There's no ocean handle. No.
with you feeling the car and it's then I gotta remember to like to point the car to the cone and then ride it out wide like press on the gas and have that feeling you see the it? biggest you going that way? the biggest newbie mistake is that you don't look far enough ahead yeah. you gotta be on the ball you gotta be already looking at the cone before you turn yeah. if you're looking at the cone when you're turning you're too late no, once once I look at the cone, I'm already thinking about the strip after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you gotta do. Turn around and park it right here. Bye. That's awesome. Good man, you did good. Yeah, I just that's a I big think, improvement. I think I just needed the feeling from you, and then telling me, of course, which way to go, what not.
sitting in my car here in the garage dreading uh starting it because it's like it's early like six in the morning and i got family sleeping upstairs so when i turn the car on i'm waking everybody up but uh anyways so it's almost been two weeks i've been busy with family and the holidays and stuff like that but we finally got the footage out and i got so much more that i didn't even get through or i did see it i just can't make you know a super long ass video so I'm going to show you some photos and some videos as I keep talking here real quick so you can get to see a little bit more about it. So the firm, it was an awesome day. Track rent though is the way to go. 12 cars, the track all day. I got seven sessions and I think I got about like 55 laps, something like that. There's, you know, some of the other guys got a lot more laps than I did, but of course they're faster and they've been used to it. So it was my first time. It was a good day, started out point by trainings. <laughs> that was kind of funny. All those cars at the beginning just passing, passing, passing as I was trying to figure things out. But as the by the end of the day, I was moving a little bit faster, you know. The one elite perform as expected and then some. The Goodyear Eagle One Supercar 3 tires are awesome. They take a minute to warm up, but once you warm them up, they do really good for being a, you know, a tire that you can drive on the street and at the track to push uh, double duty as they say and even the other Camaro uh, SS1 Elite that was there had a lot less thread than mine did and he was doing very well too so the tires hold up really good really good and my front tires have like 20,000 miles and that was their first track day my rear tires only had like 6,000 miles because I had the r triple eights. I just swapped them back But they still couldn't hold the power of the car when I really got on it My wife if you notice she rode with me when I went the first time out and that was only um, Like my fastest lap was a minute and 38 seconds So it was kind of like cruising type, you know learning like the apex kind of how to get a little bit on the gas Just having a feel for the tires and everything. I wasn't really going fast or anything but then when she got on the car again after lunch, after I rolled with Jorge, which I didn't bring a camera, but I rolled with Jorge so I could get a feeling of how he would drive his Mustang GT. And then he got on the car with me and gave me a lot of pointers. Then my wife rolled with me. And on that one, my first, my fastest lap was a 127. So that's already 11 seconds faster. So when she got on the car and she saw the night and day difference. She wanted out right away. So we only did a couple laps and then I I stopped so she could get out. Um, when I rode with Jorge, I got a good feel of the car because I think he was in the 126. And when I rode with him, he went down to a 124. So he was pushing it as he was kind of trying to show me how the car feels or whatnot. You know, going into the corners, coming out using the whole track, breaking late, and all that. But it sucks that I didn't bring a camera with me. Uh, let me see what else. I got the 360 camera on the Supra, as you saw. And then also on the Mustang GT on Jorge's car when he followed me and then he passed me and I tried to follow him. But unfortunately, when I went to switch it from Jorge's car to my last session, I changed it to time-lapse. So my last session on my car, and I put it also on the GT500. After that, it was recorded in time lapse, which I don't know. It seems kind of cool if you look at it, but it's like super fast and it's hard to control. But I'll try to. Hopefully, I was able to get it out and show it to you so you can see it. Um, throughout the day, I stayed in Sport One. I started in dry just to warm up the tires. I switched to Sport One. If you know the modes of the Camaro, it has like rain, dry, Sport One, Sport Two, and race. I stayed in Sport 1, which it still has a Magnaride active. In Sport 2 and in Race, uh, Magnaride goes away, I believe, and it's just uh, stiff in shocks. I should have moved to Sport 2 towards the end of the day because I think, as I see the video, when I was getting on the gas coming out of the apex, the you know, I always err on the safe side, but I try to be a little bit more aggressive, and the car was not letting me. So I believe that was just the stage uh the mode that the car was in i would try that out next time and see what happens with that also if you notice i kept adjusting and moving too much in the seat so these recaros they don't hold me very well 
Um, and also my prosthetic being carbon fiber kind of slides around in my foot at the bottom. Like it's, I set it on the corner plate, but it still moves around too much. So I need to figure out something that either take my leg off because I'm super comfortable right now without the leg on or keep the leg on and try to figure out a way to how to uh, tie it down down there. And some people say use a ski strap, which you can kind of put on the foot there and and it doesn't let it move. And then I can have a quick release if I needed to get out fast. So it was a good day overall. And I want to thank Jorge for, you know, for the invite to the group. They have an awesome group. You know, they're all very encouraging, helpful and fun and always giving me tips. Uh, Jorge is also usually the instructor. Every time we go to the compound and other places, uh, we get to trade cars and stuff like that, and he's letting me drive in his cars. I let him drive in my car. This time we didn't do the swap, but we still got a ride in each other's car, and I was able to learn off of that. So he's always an instructor, so I want to thank him for that. Uh, Sean with the GT500, thank you for setting everything up with uh, Hopper, the GT3 owner. It was definitely an awesome day. It could have not happened without you guys setting it up. And then Ben with the C6, he had uh, his clutch went away, but his C6 had a lot of power. So because of that, I had some extra E85, which I went through. I got there with, I want to say, three quarters of a tank. And uh, I, I brought five gallons that I put on. And then I got six gallons off of him. And before I left, I added six gallons more. And that got me all the way to, you know to finish the day and then drive all the way to Turkey Lake Plaza to fill up before just getting to my house. And also thank you for the grub. He brought some food and everything like that. Passing some money for that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I had a tons of fun, tons of fun. I learned a lot in just one day. I progressed a lot in just one day and I can't wait to, you know, to just to come back and have some more fun. And uh, hopefully it's with the same group. It's not open track day where you're with just random people. And, you know, random people, you can have fun. But then you always have those that they try to be way too aggressive and ended up messing it up for everything else. So if I go back, I'd rather go with them. And uh, that's pretty much it. You know what to do. You know, hopefully you already hit the like button. I know it might have been a little bit of a long video, but I wanted to show you as much as possible from, you know, starting in the slower laps to getting better throughout the day. And uh, let me know what you think in the comments and subscribe to see what's coming up next. See you guys next time. Peace.